Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to introduce some special Mandarin sentence. The Taiwanese people always say that, but they have another meaning behind the sentence. So if you want to know about the speaking culture, watch today's video to figure out the secret hidden inside the sentence. <music> If you are new to my channel, you can learn helpful Mandarin phrases and vocabulary from drama and movies, apply them in your daily life. Also, you can learn about Taiwan's culture and common using term on my channel. So let's go to our topic today. I want to introduce this topic because after working abroad for almost three years, I met a lot of Mandarin speakers, but our speaking way is totally different, even the wording used. Some of my Mandarin speaker friends would tell me the most common situation when they speak to Taiwanese. They feel Taiwanese people are not straightforward. Sometimes they think Taiwanese people are too polite to understand their real meanings. The first sentence I want to introduce to you is when you ask Taiwanese if they want to drink or they want to eat the food. And typically, my foreigner friends, including Chinese, Hong Kong people, answer directly with yes or no. This is logical and straightforward to let other people know about your answer, right? But some of my Taiwanese friends prefer to say, 没关系,我先不用. Translate to English means, it's okay, I'll pass first. 我先不用。先 in English means first or after you. But when you put this word in Chinese answering sentence, we'll let other people misunderstand that you don't need this one now, but maybe you still need to have a drink or food later. That's the main reason that my foreign friends would get confused or pissed off when they heard about this answer. All right, so back to the condition that we mentioned before. Do you need a drink or a food? And Taiwanese people say, it's okay, I'll pass first. 没关系,我先不用. One of my Hong Kong friends asked us again, so do you need it or not? 所以,你们到底要不要? So how can we answer this question without any confusion? We can just say, 谢谢,我不用 Thanks, I don't need it Repeat after me 谢谢,我不用 After listening to the first example, so how do you feel? Have you ever faced a similar situation when you speak with Taiwanese or what do you think about Taiwanese speaking way? Leave your comment to let me know about your opinion Hey guys, what do you think about the example? Have you ever faced a similar situation before? If yes Leave thumbs up this emoji to the comment to let me know. The second example we'll introduce is when you mention something and want to seek your Taiwanese friend's opinion, especially asking them, like it or not. The same, you won't get the straight answer. The same as the first example. So how do Taiwanese people respond to it? They will tell you, well, it's okay. In Chinese, 还可以. How do you feel now? If you are already getting a bit pissed off, that's normal because one of my foreign friends got angry with me before. So I started to change my speaking way to my foreign friends. All right, 还可以. 还 in English has lots of meanings, but the closing meaning of the condition should be still, also. 可以 in English is okay. So as you can see, two word combined could become still okay. Wait, but I remember that person is asking about you like it or not, right? So this kind of answer will make people feel vague and can't figure out your real meaning. Well, I can get it because I also don't like this kind of answer when I seek a response from other people. So here comes to our straightaway answer. When people ask you to like it or not, you can just answer, 我喜欢, I like it. If you're not fond of that, you can say, 我不是很喜欢也, 
你要不要试试看别的 ？I'm not too fond of that. Do you want to try another one? This can be polite, but also give people a direct answer. So repeat after me. I like it. 我喜欢。我喜欢。I'm not too fond of that. Do you want to try another one? 我不是很喜欢哎。你要不要试试看别的 ？All right, guys. If you are interested in learning more Mandarin vocabulary from my YouTube. But you don't want to search it by yourself. You can also follow my Instagram to learn Mandarin vocabulary and studying tips in here. The last sentence that my foreign friends got pissed off is when they are complaining to someone to you that they also know you don't like that person or things. They are trying to seek the same opinion with you, but at this time you still use vague and. A clear answer to them. I promise. One of my foreign friends got angry with another Taiwanese friend just because of her answer. For example, they told you this person sucked because they do some shitty things, and Taiwanese friend's answer is, "Oh really? Maybe this person didn't mean to it, but yes, still sucked." In Chinese, 真的吗？可能他不是故意。这样做的，但他这样做真的很糟糕。Suck translated to Chinese is 糟糕 mean to do something. Mean in Chinese is 故意 Well, how can we make the sentence more straightforward and you can comfort your friend's mind at the same time? We can confirm the answer directly in English. Is yes, let's suck. In Chinese, is 糟糕透了 Repeat after me. 糟糕透了 All right, here comes to our straight answer sentence review time. The first one is thanks, I don't need it. 谢谢，我不用。谢谢，我不用。I'm not too fond of it. Do you want to try another one? 我不是很喜欢哎。你要不要试试看别的？我不是很喜欢哎。你要不要试试看别的 ？The last sentence should be yes. Let's suck. 糟糕透了。糟糕透了。Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you share the same opinion, leave your comment and thumbs up this video if you like today's video. So I will see you guys next week on my channel. Bye.